Houston, we have a problem. It's the end of March and we have a snowstorm. It's crazy. Oh my God. I hope that my tomatoes are going to survive. Okay, it's night and I have dug out a hole and there I have inserted a char. And inside of the char there's now a candle. And this way the candle doesn't fall to the side. Also it doesn't get um, dirty from the soil. And now I just put this foil over here. And this is how you can create a small greenhouse. Okay, outside today it had like 3 degrees Celsius and inside we have now about 7, 8-ish degrees Celsius and if I do this I can see my own breath. So yeah, it's really cold but inside it is still warmer than outside so the greenhouse is really efficient and working. Okay, this is looking so much better. Awesome. Okay guys, it's now three weeks later. And um, yeah, I've lit a lot of candles inside of my greenhouse and this is how my tomatoes have survived. Uh, most of the time I just uh, dug a small hole and then I lit a candle through the night. Let's check these tomatoes. So as you can see they are alive and well. But the problem is that I'm now down to my last four candles. And I should be fine with them this year. But next year I need much more. Also this setup was not the best. And that's because um, some of the candles have burnt holes into the plastic. So I really need to make myself some, some lantern. Also, these candles, they are not burning perfectly. So there's always this rim and sometimes the rim collapses and then the flame dies. So it's very inefficient. And then I have a lot of, um, yeah, wax that didn't get burned. So now with this uh, wax, I'm going to make some tinder for my barbecue but as you can see a lot of the wax has not burned properly uh, the candles don't burn so well on their own because there's not enough of heat and the wax is not melting at the rim so now I want to try and make myself some candles where the wax is inside of a glass jar and when the glass jar is heating up this rim would melt and go back down into the candle and burn. Okay guys, so now we are in my basement and today I want to pour some candles. And I kept a couple of jars from the kitchen. Uh, I tried to clean them up and get off the brand logo and everything. And yeah, I want to pour some bags into the jars. The problem is I need a whole ton of candles to fight uh, the cold inside of my greenhouse. And now the cold weather has been going on for more than three weeks and my tomatoes are really suffering. So I'm really afraid of what's coming next year and I have to prepare a whole lot of candles. Okay, now I want to prepare the glass jars and I'm going to take this double-sided tape and glue it down into the middle of the glass jar. And I got a couple of pre-made wicks. Right, and now the wick is um, glued in on the bottom. And now we can fill the jar full with wax. 
Okay, next I put my chas into some warm water and this will prevent the chas from breaking because if you fill hot wax into cold chas, uh, yeah, you have a high chance of a break. All right, here we go. Okay, I'm pretty much done with the candles, but there's a little bit of shrinkage going on. So you can see that there's a divot. Um, it looks like a ring around the wick. So I think I'm going to melt a little bit more wax and fill up the chars until here. And then, yeah, then we are done. This is it, guys. And this is a perfect candle which will help my tomatoes survive during another cold spell in future. Uh, I hope that I can make at least 50 candles and that should um, make me more prepared for another cold weather extreme. Yeah, and also guys, if you are witnessing the same in your area, if you also have freezing temperatures around the blossom of your plants, um, then just let me know in the comment section below, because I think it would be interesting how the weather is in other parts of the world. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned till next time.